Yo, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a custom loop pool in Fortnite Creative. And yeah, this is to get right into it. Alright, so up first, you're going to grab a tracker. Then you're going to grab an item granter. Then what you guys are going to do is you're going to place down the tracker and copy these settings. Stat to track. Chest opened. Reset on first spawn. Yes. Target value 1. When target is reached, do nothing. Show on HUD, no. Tracker completion ceremony, no. Up next, we're going to rename this tracker to Loop Pool. Just like so, now it's called Loop Pool. Then, we're going to grab an item granter and copy these settings. On grant action, keep all. Cycle behavior, wrap. Drop items at player location, always. Ownership of dropped item, all. Then, what you guys are going to do is you're going to go to functions and you're gonna put cycle to random item when receiving from blue pool select event when complete then we're gonna go back to the tracker and we're gonna put increase target value when receiving from the loop pool when complete up next you guys are gonna go back to the item granter and you're gonna go to weapons and you're just gonna drop in whichever weapons you want to have in your loop pool it's like so just drop them all in. Now, uh, once you test out your loop pool, you're going to realize something. That basically, getting items like Legendary and Epic are pretty easy to get. So to fix this, you're going to drop in 10 common items, 9 uncommon items, 7 rare items, 2 epic items, and 1 legendary item. So let me give you guys an example. So let's say I want to have a revolver in my map. Basically, you're going to drop in... 10 common items, 10 common revolvers. So you're just gonna drop them all in here. Then you would wanna drop nine uncommon revolvers. Then you would wanna drop seven rare revolvers. Then you would wanna drop two epic revolvers and one legendary. And you would basically do this with every single item in your loop pool. So up next, guys, you're gonna copy this item granter, the weapon item granter, you're gonna copy it, and you're gonna click on clear items. Then from here, instead of dropping weapons, you're gonna drop in consumables. And then we're gonna make one for ammo. So for ammo, it's basically gonna be the same thing, except instead of doing consumables, we're just gonna do it with ammo. So just go back to items and then just go up and you're gonna see that ammo right here. And then you can grab whichever ammo you are going to use in your map. So if you have like rifles and stuff, you're going to need medium ammo. Uh, and I'll, I'm just going to drop every ammo that we have in here. So I would drop like uh, small amounts, like maybe like two. But in this case, I'm going to just drop the whole thing. And then you're just going to put it right here. And up last, all we have to do is make one for materials. So basically, uh, you're just gonna copy the ammo one, and this time, instead of doing ammo, we're gonna do it for wood and brick and metal and every material, basically. So basically, I'm just gonna search it up. So you can see we have wood, now we have stone, and now we have metal. So all we need to do now is basically, you can just uh, drop it all in, but I'm just gonna drop in 30, of each type then you can put it right here and if you want to add in any other item you could basically just copy another item granter clear the items and drop in whatever you want and the settings for the item granters are all the same and then up last all we have to do is just make a custom chest so to make a custom chest basically you're gonna make a chest with something that you don't use in your map so for example I'm just going to use the Shadow Shard Crystal. So basically, you're going to want to press Add to Chest. And you're going to go to Chest. You're going to press on Create Chest. Grab it. And you can just place it. And then from here, you're just going to place as much chest as you want. And then once you've completed all those steps, you should have your working custom loop pool. So then from here, basically, you're going to open up your chest. As you can see, you're going to get the crystals. You're also going to get your weapon, you're going to get your ammo, and your consumable. 
Then you can basically open up all these chests, and you're gonna get weapons, ammo, consumables, that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's basically how you make a custom loophole and kind of creative. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you found this helpful. And peace out.